Our next student honoree is Matthew A. Tramp, Associate of Science and Business Administration. All right, so uh, <laughs> having sat through a number of these speeches in my life, I decided that if I was ever given the opportunity or bad luck to give one, I would make sure to keep it brief. So uh, with that in mind, I'd like to say welcome. Thank you. Uh, during my time here at MCNY, I've taken part in both day and the night schedule. Oh, sorry about that. Usually so loud, I don't even pay attention. Is that better? Everybody got me? Thank you. Um, so, during my time here at MCNY, I've taken part in both the day and the night schedule. I've listened to professors who taught with the wisdom of life lived, and I've spoken to peers who made me consider the future. The lesson I take away from this is that college isn't a destination. It's a waypoint for us to catch our breath. A moment in time to reflect on the lessons we've learned, the experiences we've shared, and the past we'll tread to meet our goals. Most of you graduates are at a crucial point in your life. Many of you are independent, maybe for the first time. As a child, it was your parents' job to instill values in you and to teach you how to live. They did this by example and taught you to live as they lived. As you grew, they saw your potential and taught you how to avoid making the same mistakes they did. The faculty here has played the same role for many of us. The question I pose to you now is what next? At this point in time, many of you are feeling as proud of yourselves as I'm feeling of my own accomplishments. I graduated high school with a C minus average. Following that, I worked for six years in the military, learning how important education can be, saving up the entire time for the degree we're all here for. That feeling can be a cause to rest on past glory. Instead, I say use this momentum to catapult you forward. Take the lessons learned and use them to reach new heights. Look inside yourselves for your passion. If it's education, go for a doctorate. If it's software, open a computer company. Whatever it is that you see for yourself, don't be afraid to go for it. Simply by being here tonight, you have defied the odds. Statistically, there's a 74% chance that you wouldn't be here with me. With that in mind, I'd like to take this moment to say thank you. On behalf of myself and my class, I would like to thank the teachers and faculty, both past and present, who have played a part in making sure we made it this far. There's not a semester that goes by where I don't have a reason to thank at least a few of you behind me. From the nice ladies at the Registrar's Office, who helped me with my paperwork, to professors like Mr. Zellman, who never minded taking the time to make me consider why. I can honestly say that without the support every one of you gave us, chances are we'd be part of that 74% today. In closing, I'd like to end this with an excerpt by Martin Luther King. Education has a twofold function to perform in life and man and society. One is utility and the other is culture. Education must enable a man to become more efficient to achieve with increasing facility the legitimate goals of his life. Education must also train one for quick, resolute, and effective thinking. To think incisively and to think for oneself is very difficult. We are prone to let our mental life become invaded by half-truths, prejudice, and propaganda. The function of education, therefore, is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. We must remember that intelligence is not enough. Intelligence plus character, that's a true goal of education. With that in mind, I'd like to thank you for listening and wish you all. Well.